The brain is one of the richest organs in omega-3 fatty acids in the whole body. Uh, it's followed only by the retina of the eye, and actually the, the eye is considered part of the brain. Uh, but the brain itself is very rich in omega-3, particularly DHA. And so that's been an area of very intense research over the years, either from the development, human development, the growing of the original brain, and how that impacts uh, overall health, as well as at the end of life when we're talking about Alzheimer's disease or dementia, is there a role of omega-3 in, in, in preventing or putting off the development of Alzheimer's disease? Plus, they're in the middle of life. We have things like depression or anxiety or bipolar, other uh, psychiatric problems that obviously are mental related. And is there a role of omega-3 there? This has been a very active area of research. Um, there is not uh, full consensus on any given topic. I think probably the most important is, is early development. There's no question that mothers who are pregnant do need to take omega-3 fatty acids, DHA particularly, for brain health for their babies. When we get to the other end of life, well, we, our, our laboratory has done a lot of work recently on omega-3 and uh, dementia, particularly Alzheimer's disease, and we found that people who have the highest omega-3 levels, and we looked at this at several populations, have the lowest risk for developing Alzheimer's disease or overall dementia over time. Uh, and this is probably partly explained by the fact that the omega-3s seem to keep the hippocampus, which is a small, sort of a walnut-shaped piece of brain in the middle of your head, uh, that where memory is really importantly uh, controlled. And the omega-3s seem to prevent that area of the brain from shrinking as it normally does with aging. Uh, so higher omega-3 levels are really linked with a, a larger size hippocampus and that helps explain why the omega-3s will help maintain memory and uh, cognitive function well into uh, older years.